Hello and welcome on my YouTube channel. In this episode, we will invade Venice by rubber boat. <laughs> Let's bring the boat to the channel. The manager was here before. He told me it's no problem. Because it's Italy. Italy, no problemo. We are in the channel of Venice. Let's give a brief overview of the journey. Day 1. I started at the Venezia Laguna Palace in mainland Italy. From there I paddled down the channel to the Paio del Forte. This fortress protected Venice from the land side. From there we continued to the Laguna. Then I paddled parallel to the Ponte della Liberta to be sheltered from the wind. My first destination was the Isola di San Secondo, a deserted island with a church ruin. The plan was to stay there overnight, but it was completely mess with lots of blackberries. So I decided to continue to the Isola Campalto. This is a very beautiful island, I spent the night there. Day 2. The next morning I continued to Venice and paddled through the canals down to Piazza San Marco. I had a very very good lunch there. Then I was on an abandoned shipyard. I slept there in a nice little forest. Day 3. On the third day I paddled back through Venice and then crossed the lagoon to the Cimitero di San Michele in Venice. I continued to Murano and Isola di Tessera, a private island with a beautiful villa resort on it. I had a very nice day there. Day 4. On the last day of my trip I paddled down to Forte Sant'Andrea. This fortress was built to protect Venice from the seaside. Then I paddled to the Mose superstructure an experimental electromechanical module designed to protect Venice from the modern day treats, flutes. Then I was on my final destination, the Faro di Punta Sabioni in the Adriatic Sea. I paddled around it and ended up there on the windswept beach. And here now starts the Laguna of Venezia! This small island here is my destination for this day. Okay, the decision is made. I will leave this island. It is a little bit uh, uncomfortable here. I will continue my journey.
Good morning everybody, I'm here in my base camp on this lovely island and now uh, it's a little bit windy, in the night it was cold not really cold but the wind chill effect uh, cooled me a little bit down and now it is time for breakfast I have these two caramel flans and a smoothie. That's a good thing to start the day. It was a very nice day on this lovely island. Now it's time to go and invade Winnie's by a rubber boat. Yes, do it! <laughs> Information from René Seidel's blog. The City of Venice has published a modification to the city traffic rules which bans kayaks, canoes, dragon boats and others from navigating certain channels. On the left side you see all the banned channels in red. Orange would be allowed, but uh, you do not have access because uh, other red channels are around or it led only to red channels means at the end of the orange channel you have to turn and paddle back. On the right side you see which channels are allowed, all this in green color. The canals are marked with traffic signs. Here you see the blue one, that's allowed. The red one are not allowed to enter, that's banned. But that's quite confusing and without a GPS uh, you can make some mistakes. I'm sure uh, I paddled some banned channels by mistake, so sorry for that. We have to respect these bands uh, to prevent that the government make more restrictions uh, or ban Venice completely.
I found this lowly parking slot here for my canoe, the side channel. Now I will a little bit walk around, have a look, and I can uh, find something to eat. We are on the largest space here in Winnie's. The largest open space here. It is uh, very, very interesting here. Very crowded. It is not allowed to sit here. They make some pressure on the tourists. The tourists are tired. They walked around the whole day. And now they want a little bit to recreate. Baby no problem. Only the baby has the permission to sit on the stairs. Only the baby. Okay. Hello mister. A table for one person for eating? This one? Yes. Thank you very much. Take this one, this Kish Salmon and uh, Aqua Minerale Naturale 950 and uh, a glass of champagne. Where can I find the champagne? I, uh, I don't give you champagne, I give you Italian champagne. Prosecco? No, 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 I give you Italian champagne, no Prosecco. Okay, prosecco. okay, how much? Champagne. One glass? Ferrari, it's very Well, it's, uh, if you like a champagne, one glass is 35. Italian champagne, where's your one? Francia Corta, Francia Corta, Ferrari, it's a 1650 cents. This I it's Italian champagne, it's very good. Very good. Allora, un Ferrari, un Ferrari, un acqua naturale e una chiscia e salmone. Grazie. Paolo, grazie, grazie. Prego, una chiscia e salmone. Uh, for the music. Mille grazie, mille grazie. A quiche with salmon, some olives as an extra, chips and a glass of Prosecco Italia. Bella Venezia e bella bella Italia Bravo! Hello in a cup, uh, two bowls, a mango and a lemon. And one uh, bottle of water naturale.
750. It's okay. So it's time to go back to my gondola, my private gondola, to continue the trip. Okay, we have to enter this channel. He let the gondola go. And now, what happens? I will follow him. The traffic jam. It's a traffic jam situation. I let them go here. Tutto per tutti. Tutti per tutti. Saluto ragazzo! We still have some traffic jam but uh, that's my possibility to enter the channel Salute! Traffic jam! <laughs> On these walls, next to the water level, there are a lot of special insects. Look there. They behave, they behave like fish. Look this. Look here. Thousands of them. They are always on the water level, perhaps Maximally one meter over the level. They are thousands, thousands. Like swarm, like a swarm, yes. They act like a swarm. Okay. On a historical site, the southern part of Venice, they built the ship on this podest here. When they were finished with their work, they let the wall structure, the wall structure with the ship on it, went like the sledge, a bob sledge went down to the water of course these structures were not here in the past that was how they uh, they brought the ships into the water there is another one for smaller ships they had two sizes so now let's uh, let's discover this area it is a little bit protected, you cannot enter it, uh, but uh, let's have a look what we can do. <laughs> let's jump down here. Here in Venice, 
when I walk around, especially in such areas, I always wear my swim suit, uh, my my uh, my uh, swim vest, because then I look more official. And nobody is asking because uh, it is totally normal here uh, to use a boat, to do our boat or so. Nobody asks, well, what, what are you doing here? Uh, what's your job? Uh, uh, go away, please. But first, let's have a look here. It is a little bit special here uh, with these fences. They built a way through this uh, yard. So it is uh, a part which is allowed to, to, to be. And one part is behind the fence. I guess this part here is behind. And here you can cross this way here. That's no problem. Let's have a look what we can see here in this uh, manufacturing building. Oh, it is still... Uh, no, no, that's in use. That's not abandoned. No, no, then uh, I have to leave here. It's nothing to see because all these other buildings are still in use. So I don't enter it. If it is a lost place, no problem, but uh, I don't enter... Uh, running factories because uh, yes it's a uh, private playground okay okay playground that means no dogs uh, i will give you a short overview about my camp here is my hangmat, uh, the tarp now it is uh, the half removed, the tarp is only on the other side to, to protect me so that nobody can see me. I'm uh, protected here from both sides. Here we see the famous sunset on Winnie's. And here you can see my camp is there, completely protected from the outside. Nobody can see me. So here my tent is a little bit visible because the sunlight comes. Hello everybody, good morning. So, let's go then and continue our trip. So. It is my last day in Winnie's. We will have a breakfast here, and then we continue to Murano Burano. Here are the boats, and here is my one. Have a look how beautiful it is. A little bit messy, but beautiful. All the stuff will be brought by ship. Yeah. Oh. It's very heavy, heavy. 
Turkish. No problem, no problem. It is here, it is here. <laughs> For you, you're welcome. So let's go back to my boat. <laughs> my lovely and beautiful rubber boat. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Ciao ragazzo! Ciao ragazzo! Grazie del ragazzo! <laughs> We have to say goodbye to Venice! We will cross this busy water street and there in front of us you can see the cemetery island that's the next destination. Here we have some spiritual art. In the middle of the laguna, a sinking boat. It must be have a meaning because his arm directs to the cemetery, so I guess uh, his end is nearby. We will let cross the trip, should be possible.
lovely resort on the private island we are coming oh yes yes that's very very nice a private boating garage for my kayak that's very lovely I appreciate this warm welcome this resort gives me very very nice hotel guests are coming with luggage please Please, can someone help me with my luggage? Please, with all these pinky brown berries, brown berries. shit! <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Hotel Manager. Uh, where can I find the swimming pool or the beach? Oh this direction thank you very much let's have a look because uh, it was a hard work it looked a little bit cool down with direct obla with direct access or not That's the bathroom. Oh, direct access from the lobby. Uh, in this room it is a completely mess. And uh, I do not appreciate that. I will make a complaint by the hotel manager and I will give a very bad rating on Google Maps and on TripAdvisor I will give a double dislike double dislike for this uh, I will search a campsite outside I do not accept such a mess here in this hotel that's absolutely unacceptable here you can see one of the houses we have access through this way here that's my campsite that's the only flat and open space I found with a, with a small meadow let's have a recreational swim here the Laguna of Venezia private pool on the private island the resort I'm sure that you already noted it, that I like to have it a little bit luxury here. A luxury enjoyment in the hotel pool. <laughs> so for me it's time to leave uh, Mr. Hotel Manager uh, yesterday I was a little bit rude to you uh, because when I saw all this mess here but uh, today uh, I'm very happy it was a very comfortable stay here in your lovely uh, private island resort so uh, let's say sorry to you sorry uh, I uh, promise that I will write a very very good Google recension for this private island resort uh, on TripAdvisor I will give you the best rating yes 
thank you and sorry Mr. Hotel Manager, thank you. So, let's go. It's time to continue the journey. Here is the broom. He is my private hero. He let me go to all these plants, these picky plants. I don't know the name of it, but uh, I'm sure you immediately recognize that they are everywhere. You cannot enter to the, to the center of this island, but with this, the golden broom, he let me at least come to this place here, this lovely meadow here in the middle. It was a very good broom, I can recommend it to everybody. And now let's leave here, let's go. Have a nice time. At night I let a little bit air out of these chambers. You see they are no longer so hard because uh, if you have sunlight on it and the boat isn't in the water, it is not cooled down and then uh, you can have uh, overpressure, it can be destroyed. So you have to let out a little bit air, next morning you have to pump it up. That's enough. So lovely boat. You are back in the water. Lovely private island. Goodbye. Have a nice time. Let's have a look if we can enter here or uh, if it is not possible. We we'll try to make parking here. So, first we have to walk through this soup. I have to climb up there. Let's try it from this side. Okay. So, hops, hops. Unbelievable. We enter it through the toilet. We inspected the douche and the toilet house. Everything is okay here. I have to report that to the commander. Douche and toilet house up and running. <laughs> To shoot through the windows and on the back side they had the ammunition storage.
let's go up to the tower. Okay. We are already on the top. So, this was the fortress. Now we will continue to the Adriatic Sea. Adriatic Sea, we are coming! In front of us is this mosaic structure. There is the middle island. Adriatic Sea, we are coming! We are coming! The Adriatic Sea! We are on the Adriatic Sea! It's very nice! I have to go forward! Now the hard part starts to fight against the waves!
bella Italia, bella Venezia. Ciao, ciao. Bravo, bravo, bravo.